In this lesson, we're going to create two blocks called max and less than or equal. That will compute the maximum of two values and also compare if, if they're less than or equal. So for max, uh, in this operator, we'll have two operands or two parameters here, uh, val1 and val2. And both of these will be numbers in this case. And with max, we just want to find the largest value of the two. So as we type in the types of each of these operands or parameters here, we will then try to do the comparison using an if-else. So I go over and these are reporting reporting blocks. So I have um, a comparison to check if val1 is greater than val2 by using the greater than operator from the, from the operator's palette. And if that's true, then I want to return val1. Otherwise, they must be equal to or less than, uh, val1 must be equal to or less than val2. In that case, I can just return val2. So this returns a number that compares two other values, value1 and val2, and, and selects the largest um, among those two. So to test out this block, I can just simply say whether or not two particular values or which one of the two particular values is larger. So I can look down now and see that max is in fact an operator that is a user-defined block. And suppose I want to compare 5 and 6 and find the largest or max of those two. So if I pick uh, 5 and 6, I get the largest there. So now if we want to do our own less than or equal, we noted in the lesson that less than or equal is not defined um, explicitly in SNAP, but we can define our own less than equal. In this case, this will be a predicate. It will return a Boolean value. And I can use the infix notation here, where I put the val1 on the left side, in this case a number, and then I put val2 on the right side, so that this operator, less than or equal, appears in the middle of the two, compared to how we saw in the past, where we just had the parameters on the right side. So in order to compare these two values to see if val1 is less than val2, I will also use an if-else. And I'll use a logical or Boolean operator to test those two values. So if val1 is less than uh, val2 or equal to val2, I'll report true. So I pull up a logical or Boolean operator here and then I need to do two tests, the less than test and the equality test. So I'm dragging those two operators over and val1 and val2 will be in both of those slots in the same place. So again if val1 is less than or equal the val2 will return true. Otherwise we can just copy this block here and change it to false and we return false. So this will check and add uh, the less than or equal to operator to snap as a custom or user defined block. So if we wanted to test this out, I can create a um, sample program here that also has less than or equal to being called. And I'm just going to say whether or not some values are less than or equal to another. So here I'm going to compare 5 and 6. So 5 is less than 6, so this should return true whenever I run this SNAP program. And if I uh, compare 6 to 6, so 6 is still less than or equal to 6, this should be true. However, if, if I compare 7 to 6, this should be false, because 7 is not less than or equal to 6. So the way that we wrote this operator at first was to use a, a, an if-else. This can be written actually more concisely by just directly reporting the value of that Boolean expression. So if I pull out the true here and uh, we delete a few things, all I really need is this particular uh, expression here. And if I put that directly in the report block, I can get the same result, just a little bit more concise. And semantically means the exact same thing. So if I go back and test this, 7 less than equal to 6 is still false. 
And if I go back and change it to have enough value now where this will be true. So this allows me to create my own operators, a max block, as well as a less than or equal to operator using both um, the example of postfix and infix notation. Infix being where the actual operator is in between the two operands.